Now, guys and gals, this is a thing. Now, this just uh, my head in. Some of you younger ones, you know, you're much more au fait with all this sort of stuff. But lots of it is still pretty new to me. Now, uh, I've mentioned uh, that I've gone on to um, uh, Google uh, Meet. And so I've got all these backgrounds and filters and different things. Uh, but also, what I've got on, and I just clicked on this thing down here. I'm like, what's that doing? Um, and so I clicked on it, and, and it's then... To it. But it's not even a, a corporeal living thing. It's just data. It's right, it comes up with this, and I'm like, what the fuck's all that? And then it's like, um, what's got up here? And then get this moved up here. It says, summarize video. Uh, what God is, no, what is God, and how can we know that we know it okay that's the the title and then all of a sudden it starts to write all this shit and it's got uh, this video scripts discusses the concept of god and the importance of reaching a state of empty mind and meditation to connect with god it also touches on the idea of the interconnectedness of all things and the potential dangers of technology and artificial intelligence overshadowing human consciousness what the fuck jeepers creepers this is this um what do they call it? Um, fucking GP chat. Some. Oh, what's going to happen? I can't fucking GP chat. Okay, let, let me continue down here. Oh, okay. So they've got that technology right, but then they haven't got this fucking bit right, whereby I can just easily scroll down. How the fuck do you scroll down? You, you know, you can't even touch this. So I'm trying to touch this and move it down. Come on, make it easier, Google. Right, the importance of emptying the mind and returning to a state of simplicity. Emptying the mind and eliminating distractions brings us closer to God. Returning to a state of simplicity allows us to experience bliss and connect with God. Overthinking and distraction have led us away from our true nature and hindered our connections with others. Relinquishing the ego, m the egoic mind, to connect with God, we have become very Skinnerian in our being, manipulated by pain and pleasure. Uh, Skinner was um, um, an operant psychologist. Fuck this shit! Oh my god! I'm telling you. It's, it's, the, the, the write-up that she's just done reads like my book. It, it, basically, I'm speaking about the things I've wrote in the book. And, and so, all of a sudden, this GP chat has listened to the conversation and very, very quickly just summarised it and just banged it down there. Fuck, people. I don't know whether I'm elated or I'm fucking shitting myself about the prospects of that. It's very clever. And they're doing this with everything. And, um... Well, by just moving over from Zoom, which was very rudimentary and mundane, gone over now onto um, Google uh, Chat, Google Meet, Google, Google Meet, now, you know, look, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Okay, people go, yeah, they're listening to you. They listen to every word I say. Of course they are. And they're gathering all the information. And, you know, when the, the, the long night of the knives uh, finally comes about, I suppose my feet won't touch the ground when the Gestapo come for me um, because I know far too much about this dimension. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm spreading information which is potentially going to be a harm to the state because the state doesn't want enlightened and awoken people it wants dumb controllable uh, or, or automated um, robots that's what the state wants anyway this 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 chat unfortunately I've only got half of it but no big deal I'm, I'm having ongoing conversations with Andre and anybody else by the way who wants to come and just talk about what they uh, feel that the book means to them um, because uh, it really is quite something um, and look 
uh, I wrote it and I know it and all that sort of stuff and so it's kind of like I don't know whether people are going to find it interesting this and the other but just by reading that what Google have said about my chat there it's kick-ass stuff it's, it, it's proper fucking out there and I'm proper impressed with all that is an ape go on what yeah. It is an actual planet, an alien who's come and hijacked uh, the world and is endeavouring to spread like a virus and supersede our own consciousness. And he's doing it at a rapid rate. And when we get to uh, the, um, the, the situation like George Orwell's 1984 or Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, then we can see that the people were no longer thinking of themselves. And yes. they, they were just all, all, automaton, uh, which was serving AI because um, the, the, they were keeping. Anyway, AI that on. is a super cool video. Um, the book is phenomenally super cool uh, for those of you that um, haven't quite managed to get round to that um, it'd probably be the best book you've ever read in your lives by the way um, I'll let you uh, enjoy this video in its entirety I just wanted to say how I'm blown away by this shit uh, and nothing, it didn't cost anything, none of this stuff costs anything. I, I think what's happening, they give it to you free, of course, initially, till you become addicted to it, and then they, they, they put the levy on it, and then you've got to have it because you're so used to it, um, and then you you got to pay. But also, you see, they are gathering all the information. That's money, honey, to them. All the information on me about what I say, what I feel, you know, my emotions, my joys, my fears, and all that that's money honey and they know exactly how to target me now when I um, 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 uploading my videos um, and when I'm playing one of my videos uh, playing back like now all of a sudden I'll be getting Google um, YouTube pop-ups and the exact same things I'm saying in my video other people are saying you know similar subject matter so it's in real time people it's listening to us bomb 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 every second and we've got an individuated uh, algorithmic system which is following us personally so it's kind of like you know we all have alter egos and we have shadows um, n now we we have a personal algorithm which is dedicated to us and it's extracting and gathering all of the information, everything we do on all of our electronic systems and it's feeding it back to mother. Well, I don't know, what to say about that? What do you say about it? What do you feel about it? What do you know about it? Comments down below.